Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, the sun's been going back up slowly, only for a week, and can already tell a difference on the solar array. Not a huge difference, but I am catching more power at this time of the day than I was even a week ago. And I've got the Victron app to prove it. So, very happy about that. Everything's plugging along good. And in preparation for some New Year's uh, demonstrations we're going to be having, we're making sure all the batteries are getting up to their full charge. And today, what I've done is I've dropped in this Lee Time 12 volt. 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate smart battery with the one touch button control. And when I tied this in, this is going in for its very first full charge. We did a review on this battery a little while ago. It's a very cool battery and we're just taking it up to uh, absorption right now. It's not quite there. I just tied it in a minute ago. Anyway, one of the interesting things about this I had it in the off position and so there was no LED light like you see right there. Now it's green and on. When I tied it up to this charging station, it was off and I thought maybe I'd have to turn it on for charging. Still not all used to how this works, but anyway, when I turned it on and then I opened up the power to the charge controller up here, uh, it stayed off, and then as soon as I flipped the solar panel array, which I just showed you, that light automatically came on, and it's charging just fine. And it's going to get up to a full charge real quick here today. And this is in preparation, like when we did the Vatter battery the other day, getting these up to a full charge so we can start running them through their tests and show you guys how they're working. So let's take a quick look at the app. We can see this tied into a 500 watt string in series. Got 320 watts coming in right now. It's still morning, so this is not going to take long to get up to a full charge. You can see already the battery voltage is 13.86, oh, 13.9. On the preset is what we're using for the Victron charge controller. We'll take it up to 14.2, hold it there for a couple of hours in its absorption phase, and then it'll kick it, kick it off the charging and the float is set to 13.5. So that's all we're doing today is getting this up to its first full charge to make sure it is behaving properly. Uh, have no reason to think it won't, but that's what, the way we always do it out here slow and methodical, making sure it lives up to its specifications. It's just going to get up there real quick today. 375 watts, 380. It's going to get a little bit more as that sun keeps peeking over the trees using this Victron MPPT 100 volt 30 amp solar charge controller. It's all automatic, plug and play, don't have to worry about it. Victron has it under control, well within the parameters of the charge controller. Can handle 100 volts and there it is fluctuating back and forth a little bit as that sun's peeking around the trees, 78 volts. Doing fantastic, so it's not gonna take it long. Almost up to 14 volts. But it'll get it up to 14.2, hold it there for a couple of hours, decrease that wattage while it's balancing out all the cells. Should be just fantastic. Can't wait to see this in action. I'm going to be curious to see what it does once it stops charging, since I originally had it in the off position. When the charging is done, will it go back to the off position or will it leave it on for being ready to discharge? That we will see. Because it kind of threw me that it automatically turned it on. I thought maybe I'd have to manually do it for charging, but did not. 
And when I say I've been charging these batteries to full, uh, I've been letting the Victron take them up to 14.2 volts during its absorption phase. Holds it there for a couple of hours and then uh, tapers off to no charge as it settles down into a 13.5 float. <clears throat> Now this battery's been sitting here fully charged, disconnected from everything for a couple of days, and I'll show you what it reads right now. 13.93 volts, so it is very slowly uh, going down, holding up a very, very good charge a couple of days later. And this is another one we've got fully charged, getting ready to do some tests for you guys. And as you can see, this has that one uh, touch control button right there. And you can tell that it's not on by the fact that it's not lit up. And if I go to check the voltage on it, there is, it reads 3.3 volts. Then when I turn it on, green light comes on, and now we'll get the true state of charge, 13.44 volts. So both of them are uh, completely full. That vatter uh, was reading a little bit higher after a couple of days. This has only been off the charger for about a day after it got up to a full charge. We're charging yet another battery right now. And let me, guy, let me know, you guys, if there's a particular test that you would like to see one of these lithium iron phosphate batteries in. Otherwise, I'm going to just uh, come up with some different ideas throughout <clears throat> the year and show you guys how these things perform like we do over time. <laughs> And right now we're in, we're charging up the big boy back there, that red Odo 300 amp hour uh, 12 volt battery. So everything's charged up, have an excess of power, even at this uh, time of the year where the sun is low, everything is fully charged, got backups to the backups. But yeah, if there's anything you guys have been wondering uh, how these things could perform in some simple tests that I have not covered, let me know. If it's within reason and if it's within my capabilities, I'm happy to, to do a, a test on request. And I will try to do that. Otherwise, we're going to be showing you all of these batteries in production in various applications uh, starting in the new year. And we're getting everything ready. Just can't believe the solar conditions been getting lately. Everything is just full. All systems are go. And there it is. Not even a cloud in the sky. Which is very rare for here, by the way. But charging up. Alright. Looking forward to the new year with everybody. Going to announce that winner on the uh, Victron charge controller tomorrow, New Year's Eve. So, only got a few hours for those of you that want to still jump in and get in on that. Otherwise, we're going to call it good tomorrow and pick the winner. Aloha. While we early in the day and everything is fully charged. Unbelievable. <laughs>